You guys are not going to believe some of the crazy altercations that LeBron James has been a part of over the years. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be diving into some of the messiest and craziest altercations that LeBron James has either instigated or been involved in. These range throughout his entire career, though he seems to have more incidents during his days with the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. From fights, to arguments, to even walking over to an opposing team's bench in the middle of shooting free throws, LeBron has made quite a few enemies over the years, and it's honestly no surprise to see so many incidents involving him on the court. And these aren't even covering some of his off-the-court happenings that there are out there too. But anyways, let's just jump straight into it. The first incident regarding LeBron James was an interesting one. While he was still a member of the Miami Heat, the team was locked in a tight game against the Indiana Pacers, who were still among the better teams in the Eastern Conference because they had Paul George in his prime. The Heat were on defense when George was randomly left wide open for a three-pointer, which he drilled. Since nobody ever went over to guard him, LeBron looked confused and wondered whose job it was to defend him. Mario Chalmers was the only one who seemed to be responding to him, so you'd think it was one of their responsibilities, but neither of them admitted it. It didn't seem to be anything to write home about at first, until the cameras looked over at the Heat during a timeout and saw Chalmers yelling at James on the sidelines. LeBron was talking back at first, and it seemed like a normal conversation between two competitive NBA players, until James suddenly flew up from his seat and started walking towards Chalmers to get in his face. This instantly caused other players on the team to step in and separate the two of them before things got any worse. They argued a little longer after that, but had apparently cooled down by the time the break was over and returned to the court. However, Chalmers took the ball around a set screen and attempted a very risky pass between two defenders to a cutting James, though the ball was quickly intercepted and taken the other way. Maybe Chalmers was just trying to force him the ball to cool the situation, or maybe he just genuinely made a bad pass. Either way, LeBron just looked tired of it, and he was the last person to pass half court to go play defense. Similar to this next situation, though in this one he chose not to go all the way down the court. The Cleveland Cavaliers were facing off against the New York Knicks, and there was about one minute remaining in the game. LeBron drove to the basket and was met by none other than Enos Cantor. Cantor held up surprisingly well, and James ended up getting forced away from the basket, missing the layup and getting the rebound knocked outside to a fellow Cavalier teammate. While he reset the play, James slipped under the net and got a wide-open alley-oop to drop for him because Cantor lost him during the offensive rebound. James landed and started running back to the other end, but he literally ran straight into the rookie Frank Nilakina for seemingly no reason at all. Not only that, but he chose to just stand next to him as if Frank was supposed to get out of his way and allow him to pass. Nilakina stood his ground though and shoved him away, starting a small scuffle when Canner sprinted over to defend his young teammate from the King. The second those two got into each other's faces and started arguing, the rest of the Knicks and Cavaliers players started filing over and it created quite a scene on the court. This was more of a random incident as you genuinely couldn't tell why LeBron bumped into Nilakina like that, but at least the teammates and referees were able to settle it down quickly before it escalated into ejections and even suspensions. There were almost a few of those in this next moment involving LeBron. The Miami Heat were down by 5 points early in the fourth quarter against the Brooklyn Nets and were trying to get themselves back into the game. A guard on the Nets drove hard to the basket but was rejected at the rim by a player for the Heat kickstarting a fast break for the Heat that was led by James. James had a few options to turn to while he sprinted down court, but opted to take the ball to the cup himself for a layup. There was only one problem though, Mirza Toledovic was sitting back there to try and defend every Heat player himself due to the fast break, and when he realized that James wasn't going to pass and rather take it himself, Toledovic just wrapped his arms around James and spun him mid-play. He didn't really think much of it until LeBron charged after him while the officials ran over to split them up. It truly looked like LeBron was running over to start a full-out fight by the way he stomped over to Toledovic. Next thing you know, there are teammates and coaches all over the floor trying to get the situation all calmed down and avoiding any punches being thrown. Mirza didn't even care about the entire thing. Every single time the camera cut over to him, he was just seen smiling and laughing. Toledovic clearly didn't care that LeBron was upset and even looked proud of himself for not backing down and just trying to stop the play that would have resulted in two points for the Heat. Exactly like these two free throws for the Cleveland Cavaliers while King James was still there. The team was completely dominating the Chicago Bulls, and not the Michael Jordan Bulls, but rather the Joe Kim Noah-led Bulls. Cleveland held a 20-point lead with six minutes left in the game, and LeBron was on the line to shoot two free throws. As he caught the ball and prepared to take his first shot, he 
was seen arguing with a member of the Bulls bench, though nobody knew who he was talking to at first. James ended up shrugging him off and sinking his free throw, but before the official was able to hand him the ball for his second shot, LeBron started walking over to the Chicago bench and was arguing heavily with Joe Kim Noah. Immediately, two Cleveland players stepped in between the two men and started to separate them as best they could. Then, officials and staff had to get involved because LeBron and Noah were still yelling at each other over the players in between them. After a while, they finally got separated and LeBron was handed a technical foul for his actions while Noah didn't get anything at the moment, though he more than likely received a fine later down the road. Now, James should never have walked over to him in the first place, but then again, we can't hear exactly what Joe Kim said to him, and sometimes people say things that go a little too far and need that type of reaction. But guess what? That wasn't even the only incident between these two players. In fact, they have quite the history of not liking one another. These two teams met once again in the Eastern Conference semifinals, and the series was tied 1-1, one one, with the Cavs holding a one-point lead halfway through the third quarter. That lead was because LeBron had driven to the lane and gotten himself a very nice dunk to put his team up. As he landed, James and Noah exchanged some words to one another right before Noah inbounded the ball, and the referees sprinted over to whistle some kind of foul against James. LeBron was immediately being held back and walked away from Joe Kim, while Noah just started yelling and clapping while following James a little bit. One of the refs was explaining to LeBron that he was given a technical foul for taunting, Meanwhile, Noah's on the opposite end of the court, waving his arms in the air and getting the entire Chicago arena all hyped up over the incident. Don't worry though, Noah was handed a technical foul of his own just a little bit later, though it didn't stop the crowd noise. It even sounded louder than it was the entire game in that moment, turning up the intensity in an already intense playoff atmosphere. Next up, we have LeBron and Draymond Green. The Cavs were facing off against the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals, with the Warriors holding a 2-1 series lead at the time. They also held a 10-point lead in the game with just under 3 minutes remaining and about to go up 3-1 to one in the series. But in the middle of the court, LeBron and Draymond got themselves tangled up and it resulted in Green falling down next to James. But instead of stopping and helping him up or even walking around him, LeBron stepped over him slowly, which caused Green to hop up and run into LeBron to start an argument. The two were inches away from one another and getting into each other's faces, all while play was still going on. A Warriors player took a mid-range jump shot and the ball bounced out and Draymond shoved LeBron out of the way and slapped the ball. That's when a whistle was blown on both James and Green. Now LeBron started to get closer to Draymond during their little scuffle after the play and needed two Cavaliers players to step in and hold him back while Green just started slowly walking away from the situation. Green then stopped next to a few of his Warriors teammates to just move on, but LeBron followed him all the way over there to continue the argument. Shockingly enough, the only punishment that both of them received was a common foul each, and no texts were handed out. That's definitely something you don't get to see very often in the league today, so thankfully nobody was punished for this little incident. Thanks everybody so much for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out this LeBron James video that appears on your screen next.